The tower rotation map in the library shows the four places of protection on the island of Mist, each of which hides a linking book to another age. These locations can be accessed in any order. Today I will be unlocking the book that is in this location which links to the age of Channelwood. With the tower rotation set to the Channelwood location, ascend to the top of the tower. Under the key symbol you will find a three digit code. Mine is 964 but yours will likely be different. Take a picture to record this information. The narrow window at the other side of the tower looks over a large tree. This is where the Channelwood book is hidden. Take the elevator back down to the library. You will find that the entrance to the library is closed but pulling the handle below the portrait to the right of the bookcase will open it. The tree is straight down the path and behind a small cabin to the left. Note how the tree is actually inside a deep well. Upon opening the door to the cabin in front of the tree, you will immediately notice a large boiler, to the right of which is a large red valve. Turning the valve to the right results in the sound of escaping gas, and turning it all the way to the left will turn off the gas. On the left wall of the cabin is a safe with a three digit combination. Entering in the three digit code you found in the tower will unlock the safe. Inside is an ignition switch. Turning the switch to ignite results in a clicking sound. To light the boiler you need to turn on the gas with the red valve and then hold the ignition switch on ignite. You should now see a flame below the boiler. If the gas is full on the pressure gauge on the boiler will raise quickly and then fall off in time to the sound of some mechanism. Returning to the tree you will notice that the tree has risen out of the well. There is now an opening visible, but unfortunately it's out of reach. If you turn the gas valve off completely, the tree will lower back down into the well, but this makes the opening once again inaccessible. With some experimentation, you will discover that you can control the rate at which the tree raises or lowers. Turn the wheel slowly, a quarter turn at a time, and watch the pressure gauge carefully. Now, riding the tree up doesn't get you anywhere, though there is a button to the left of the opening in the tree which releases pressure causing the tree to descend. Unfortunately, the button stops working at ground level. This is unfortunate because what you need to do is ride the tree all the way to the bottom of the well. Return once again to the cabin and increase the pressure until the tree has risen completely to the top. Then, turn the wheel slowly to the left until the pressure gauge just begins to fall. The tree will now descend, though very slowly. I would recommend turning the wheel one more quarter turn to the left to get it to fall a bit quicker. Return to the tree and enter the opening as it reaches the ground. Now just simply enjoy the ride to the bottom. The ride ends at a water-filled cavern with wooden boardwalks. The Channelwood Licking Book is just a short walk away. You can link to Channelwood by placing your hand over the panel, but be warned. Once in Channelwood, or in any of the other ages, you will not be able to return to Mist Island until you found the linking book that is hidden in that age. To the right of the tree is another gas valve that works in exactly the same way as the one in the cabin. This is here to allow access back to ground level should you desire it. Without being able to see the pressure gauge, it is a little trickier to work. My recommendation is to turn the valve to the right a half turn at a time until you hear the tree begin to rise. Then, turn the valve a full turn to the left and wait for the tree to completely lower again. A single turn to the right should now get the tree rising again and give you enough time to enter. You can now access the Channelwood linking book anytime you like, pulling you ever deeper into the story of mist.